Aye, get cutting again, I suppose. <laughs> the race is on. Alrighty, folks, I'm back again today and we are at Third Cat. I'm going to admit, I have just been on holiday. I was home yesterday morning, about three in the morning, and then I'd come down and feed the cows and get going, get the big M looked over, and I've cut about, uh, I don't know, I think it was about 60 or, no, I think it was about 80 acre I cut yesterday, and now I am continuing on, uh, only got cutting later on in the afternoon, by the time we caught up with things, because I was away, uh, I think Dad was deliberately leaving things till I was back. As you can tell by my skin complexion, I took a really good tan, and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> so, unfortunately for me, getting absolutely zero notice, you will notice right now that I am driving manually, uh, because I do not have my auto steer system moved over from the 7040, which I was really looking forward to use, but since I have had zero notice and just told to get on with it and the rain is going to come very soon I've not managed to move it over so here I am I'm going to struggle to make videos now because the hands free option is the best option for doing this kind of thing it's alright with the heat drink because you're driving around and you don't necessarily need to lift any more but uh, for going on the ups and downs on the straights and whatnot, uh, aye, it's not that easy to do this uh, recording stuff, you know. So, aye, so the third cut is light. Knew that was going to happen. There's been no fair put out, so all this has been grown with slurry which is fantastic, and it'll be the same again for fourth cut. We're definitely taking a fourth cut. Um, try and fill these bits up to buggery. Uh, we filled the midden twice. I'm now feeding out the midden for the second time. So that's the second cut in it, so I'm feeding some of it. And we're filling the pit we put the majority of the first cut in. And then we're gonna put fourth cut in the pit that's had second cut. Are you following me? <laughs> so I all very complicated and all that, but it's going to work out better for us. But I think Dad's going to decide there's a lot of third cut and he's going to make us put it in the second cut pit. But we shall see how it all goes, shan't we Maggie? The most ideal thing for us would to be have another pit, but what we've got is absolutely fine. It'll do us for now. Spring barley is looking really good. Uh, some of the neighbours started doing the winter barley when I was away, and uh, I, I was needing done because it's golden. But it's needing done because it's that time of year. This is the 30th of July right now. Um, so yeah, time's going on, time's going on, won't be long till uh, spring barley's ready, it's looking really good, after looking terrible in the spring after all the rain we got after putting it in, but she's, uh, she's looking thick up there, looking absolutely smashing. Just need to wait and see how much of a crop comes in. Some of it looks not very good, but we had to top dress it to keep get it going again after all the rain we had. So that's just another wee dose of fertilizer that I wasn't needing, but it had to be done because of the rain just rinsing the soil. So as you can see here, I've got a new door and a smashing time back first cut. I don't think I managed to record in the second cut. I was just, it, just everything's just been so busy. I've been struggling to record my videos and I've been struggling. Well, I can record my videos but getting the time to edit them and put them up has been the issue so I can apologise. I can only but apologise for that. I'm looking into trying to get something done so I can 
just focus on my farm work, you know. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. It's just what works for me, you know. So here we are. This beautiful big machine's chopping away, just lovely. Issues with it towards the end of second cut. No, no, it wasn't second cut, it was heelage I was cutting with it. It started doing this kind of lurch and taking off and uh, slowing right up and then like catching the drive again in the hydrostatic. So I don't really know what the problem was there. It looked a bit like it could have been the filters. So we've changed the filters and it's been looking a lot better ever since. So can't really complain about that. So to see whether or not it keeps up with that, whether it heats up and decides I'm not working anymore or whether it's going to work lovely but it's looking good so far. No going to lie after cutting 80 acre yesterday but temperature's not really that high so that's fine. It's sitting about 15, 16 degrees and now by the way, when I was on holiday, it was 32, so double what it is now. And the feels like temperature was 40 degrees. What the hell? Because of the humidity, it was 40. What the? Nah. Unbelievable. Couldn't deal. But the unlimited beer and whatnot was just perfection. <laughs> Uh, here we are, straight back to work, back to the graft, you can. Yeah. Well, that's field one done of the day. Hey, Maggie. Horse through that one. And now on to this. Well, I've got a wee field up there and I've got this field here to do. Then up the roads, but they've started lifting. So the race is on because it's light. They're going to be going up and doing like hell. <laughs> This kind of cut you could really do with a four rotor rake, but we don't have one of them. So. Alright, I'll keep chatting. So, I finished cutting everything round here, so cut down there as you've seen in that video. Then I've just not been on my phone since. So, I finished cutting down there and I finished cutting up the road, and uh, it was still doing its kind of jerking, surging kind of thing. I've looked up the manual and stuff, so there's a couple of things it could be. There's a... This thing down there, that's in charge of how the oil gets to the radiator and whatnot. So it's a purge valve, and it's to do with the hydrostatic too somehow. Don't know, I'm not a mechanic, I just kind of roughly know the story here. And then there's a switch valve uh, back there. And I don't know if it's to do with this as well, so yeah. I, then we're having bother with steering last year and found that the steering isn't actually uh, got a filter on it separate, and that's why the steering orbiter kept getting shit in it basically. So, dad has installed a filter, so now the steering isn't choking up with any wee bits so that's handy i don't think there's much i can do with this i think we need to have a major look at it after we finish cutting but i don't have much left to do really i should maybe finish cutting it tonight slash early tomorrow morning but we shall see i get cutting again i suppose <laughs> so i'm now down the road i was cutting silage last night got the first two fields decked started this one then I got picked up. It's a fair decent crop in here. This got digest and it was, that was it. That was all it got. And uh, fair crop of stuff. And uh, so it was doing more of this lurching, kind of pulsing and whatnot. So uh, I looked it up on the, the sheen thing. Uh, on the operator's manual and whatever not that I found on the internet and uh, this purge valve was what I was thinking earlier 
and uh, well, Dad was at it last year or two years ago. I think it was last year actually, and basically it allows oil flow to the radiator, so it wasn't working that way. So it got sorted, or the pipes got redesigned so it went through the radiator to help cool it. And the other job it does is allows the oil flow to the work the hydrostatic. So I'm just you adjust it. Well, the guy that was in last year told Dad to adjust it with uh, with some washers. So we put one in last night on each side, and uh, it made a, a difference, quite a big difference actually. But it wasn't a hundred percent. So the now I am currently trying to adjust it just a little bit further to see if that really solves the issues. That I've been having. I'm gonna need two hands for this, pushing the spring in. Or am I? Nah, gonna need two hands. But aye, so that's we'll see what happens with that and then I'll adjust the other one on the other side and hopefully everything's fixed up. So, start at this field. So usually it would only take about I don't know, half an hour, but forty minutes to finish this field with this machine, but it's decided to do what it did last year and blow a seal out the hydraulic pump out in there. And the reason I know it's happened is because when that does happen, it's that high pressured, all the oil blows up the back window. So you kind of turn around and go, why is it so smoky? <laughs> <laughs> because we fixed it last year, Dad knows what to do. He, he was, I was ended up chopping last year, so he was working on it with a mechanic so he's seen it all so he, he knows how to fix it um so no i need to wait i'm getting picked up <laughs> tremendous 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 pretty sure this is my last load Walter with me today. Dad's filled up to bugger it. He drops on it. Right. Got a bit done with the chopping last night myself, and then Dad was Dad finished cutting and then done some rowing up. Hey. Good to be nearly done anyway. Just to hat the pit now. The hat one pit yesterday. Now we've got uh, the other we want to do, so we put the most of the third cut on top of the first cut pit. Now this stuff's going on top of the second cut pit, so it should be pretty decent. Right, that's the uh, third cut done. We filled that right hand pit, put it on top of the first cut. The left hand pit's got a fair bit of silage in it. But we're going to try and get this tower emptied and uh, try and get a decent fourth cut. First time we've done fourth cut, put it in the pit. And hopefully we get a decent amount of silage in and get another pit that looks like that one before the winter starts. Still feeding it this midden. And uh, that should be another two or three weeks. We will we'll get some more silage and then we'll get that filled with dung. The sheds that are filling up with dung the now because they're nowhere to put it. <laughs> so, got this going here, mixing the tower, and I'm just about to get this going, and it's blowing in off the other side, and that'll help break the crust up and get this whole going. So. Hey, oh, we're all go, we're all go.